Hello, I'm Bradley Harder, and this is Cooking Without Pants. Now, um, today's special day because it's uh, Steve Anthony's birthday, so I'm doing the birthday show. I'm going to make some lasagna, send it up to Steve and Tanya out in the county, and I'm going to make uh, lasagna for a few other friends as well. So I've got to make two trays of lasagna. It's a big deal. There's a lot of stuff involved here, a lot of moving parts. Uh, Darlene and Mark helped me out with some groceries. Adriana helped me out with some... Um, my friends are, are out there plugging away. I'm going to make some good food. I've got some uh, ground beef, ground veal. And normally I use ground pork as well, but I don't have any, so I have to skip that today. Also, the ricotta cheese, very, very valuable. Only one container of ricotta cheese in, in seven different grocery stores. So I've got ricotta, and I've got a couple of uh, smooth cottage cheese that I've added. I try to use that in its place and mix it all together. Hopefully get a good result out of it. And lots of cheeses. I got old cheddar, provolone, asiago, parmigiano, uh, parmigiano, and I got some mixed Italian cheese here. Some Malia blend and stuff in the fridge. Onions, garlic, thyme, basil, and uh, olive oil cooking. So uh, we're going to start with our sauce. We have to make two different sauces. One's a plain sauce with no meat in it, and one of them is a heavy meat sauce. So, here we go. Now I'm chop, chop, chopping stuff up, because I'm a big fan of something called mise en place, which means that all the pieces in place, more or less. So, I want to chop all my onions, my garlic, separate the thyme, uh, do all that stuff beforehand before I turn the heat on with hot pan because things go from kind of like a dance routine, right? Uh, back when Steve and I were living together, uh, we had a little, a little flat down by the city TV and Steve would cook and he would use every single pot in the house. And Steve, for this one, luckily you only need two pots and two pans. So, uh, to get, a, uh, that cut up. get the rest of that stuff prepared and show you what I mean. Now, where I come from, there's in my world personally, there's nothing more tedious and mundane than stripping time from the stocks, which is uh, why I did that without you. Sometimes I actually find it a little zen in doing those little jobs and just kind of get in the zone. And, and it often helps if you smoke a big fatty before you start cooking, too. Um, so now, I've got, I got my mise en place I've created. I've got basil, thyme. I've got garlic and onions for, for each pot. And i got two pots here that I'm going to start using to cook. So, for starters, we turn the heat on. It's a nice, beautiful old stove. Heat's on. Now we'll get, let that heat up and then we'll throw our onions in. Okay, the garlic's sizzling, or sorry, the onions are sizzling nice right now. And uh, I'm just going to uh, add the garlic when they get a little bit more clear. It is up to nice temperature. In goes the garlic. You notice I got stools in my kitchen. Sporadically placed around the kitchen just in case I feel ears to faint coming on. I can sit down. Normally they don't help me much. I would just fall off the stool too, but at least I'm closer to the ground by that point. So this is what I'm dealing with. Anyway, enough about me. Tell me about yourself. What do you think of me? <laughs> That's one of Steve's jokes. Thought it was appropriate. There we go. Smelling really good now. Now we're going to throw in that meat. Okay, now that I have two sauces going, here's the meat sauce. And that's the vegetable sauce. Now the onions are all nice and soft and they're re ready to go. Meat sauce is ready to add the tomatoes. So, actually, you know what? First, be generous with your seasonings because that's a lot of meat there. Don't be, don't be shy. You can put a bit more salt than you think is necessary, a bit more pepper than you think is necessary because it all adds up to yummy. Okay, so I've thrown the... Uh, 
uh, chime in with the meat sauce and the basil in with the tomato sauce. And stir, and stir. Nice, good. Give that a stir. Oh yeah, get that all incorporated. Nice. Okay, now I'm gonna throw in the tomatoes. So one can of tomatoes in here. And the other can of tomatoes in this one here. Alrighty. Now we're gonna stew those down. I'm gonna break those tomatoes up and stew them down. Then we're gonna get busy with our pasta. I gotta say this is looking like some mighty fine lasagna. Yep. Got that sauce cooking away nicely there. That's our, our meat sauce, that's our tomato sauce. And uh, now we're gonna get started with our dough. First of all, since you're doing two trays of lasagna, probably need about five cups of flour. About eight or nine eggs, maybe. Depends, we'll see how it flows together. And a little bit of olive oil, some salt and pepper, and that's it. That's a simple dough. All right, folks, here we are at the dough phase of our uh, cooking. So I take, I said five cups, five cups of flour. One, two, three, four, and five. Does that look like enough pasta? Hmm. Love it. We'll give it a shot, we'll see. Now what I do is I take this, 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 this cup measure and I make a big divot in the middle of it. Right? And you crack some eggs in there. I'm thinking around seven of them. Get this garbage out of here. Two. Three, four, five, six, and just about filling up that well, a bit higher here, seven, there we go. Look how beautiful this looks. Looks like a egg volcano in in food Hawaii. Yeah, baby, it's a gorgeous thing. All right, hang on, let's get you back here. Now, what I do, I take a fork and I gently work the guy. Start whisking those eggs with a fork just to break them up in there. So. Break all those yolks and get it flowing. Oh, yeah, nice. Okay, it's all whipped up now. Now I'm just start folding this flour in there as I whip it. Oh, it slipped off the side here. So that kind of fucked that plan. Oh well. Shit cakes. It's not as subtle as it was supposed to be. And sometimes shit happens. This is real life. Live TV, baby. No camera operator. What am I going to do? Just going to live with it. Roll with the punches. Just get that. This is so it doesn't fucking fall off the fucking thing. Motherfucker. All right, bastard son of a bitch person. Okay, it's gonna get a bit messy, but what the fuck, eh? More than once. Ah, uh, yeah. Get all that shit together there. Olive oil. Uh, 
all the way on the side. There we go. All the way on this. This is Italian dissolve oil for everything. Flavor, cooking, anything. Probably one of the most commonly used oils in the world, I'd say. Maybe canola. When I was a kid, it was called rapeseed. And some coalition voted against using the word rapeseed. Changed the name to canola. There we go. Look at all that. Beautiful, beautiful dough. Starting to come together a little bit, but we're gonna let it sit for like half an hour after we work it a little bit. We don't want to work it too much because it gets tough. That's no good. You just want that elasticy. So we're just gonna let it sit here for half an hour, and in the meantime, I'm gonna clean up a little bit myself. Hi. So the uh, pasta's done. I've got all the dough laid out there. See, these are just beautiful ribbons of just comfort. That's there. You want to roll them so they're really, really thin because they fatten up a lot when you cook them, when they go in the lasagna. You don't have to pre-boil those ones either. You don't have to blanch them or nothing. Just throw them right on top of the stuff in the tray. So I've got my sauces done. I've got my dough done. Now I just got to bring these trays over here start getting this lasagna done. How can I unplug this guy? Hang on, let me just put this over here. Oh, sorry. Still there? Hi. Alright, we start. Oh yes, I almost forgot about these guys. Shit, I gotta miss that. One second. I wonder what I did with my spatulas. Honestly, doing it, you know, everyone helped me, so it's kind of difficult to get all this. I'm gonna just incorporate all that. See that? Let's incorporate all that ricotta with that cottage cheese, and hopefully, it's gonna turn out okay. I got my suspicions that it's gonna be a bit runny. So, hopefully, it worked on lasagna in context of the lasagna. All right, so first thing we do. Oh, 
a layer of the straight sauce on both pans. So that's what it's just the bottom is. You get a little bite when you get your cheese into it. All right, get that spread all over down there. Oh yeah, that's it. Nicely spread in the bottom of the pans. And let's put our meat sauce in close proximity for this transfer because it could get messy. Just saying it's all. Don't want to have that now, do we? Take my pot of meat sauce and put it right here. Ah, there we nice close proximity to the dishes. I'm to drag the dri dripping ladle across the room. Okay, next, you take a layer of pasta. Just spread it across the bottom, covering every inch of the bottom. One thin layer of pasta. Quite easy. Nice. Yeah. With all the shapes that I brought. Seem to cut out here, so it's really easy to just put that one right down the middle. Get a couple here on the sides. Bend it around. You know, if you've ever tasted pasta or lasagna, sorry, with homemade pasta, man, the pasta is like cream. It's just so beautiful. It just melts in your mouth with every bite. Sorry, I'm going to look at my ass through these bicycle shorts. My apologies to the squeamish crew out there. All right, there's, there's that done. Next, a layer of meat. Sure. Let me show it's juicy in that. Tell you. You know, we're going to layer more noodles on it. Cover that layer with noodles. Oh, yeah. The drawings are thin. They got lots of noodles here. You could do it in sheets too, but my roller's not designed that way, so I have to do it in longer, thinner strips, as you see. This is a like real time cooking with Bradley, isn't it? Yeah. Fuck. Never thought it could be done. Real time cooking with Brad. Now we do a layer of the cream. Alright, let's 
What does this get? What does this leave us? Oh, this is dessert. Mascarpone or something like that, it looks like, you know? Cotton cottage cheese. Now I like to throw a bit of seasoning in this layer because it's pretty bland and flat and that just the ricotta there. Some pepper. A bit more savory, right? A bit of salt, kosher salt. Every bite should be delicious. <coughs> now it's another layer. Pasta. Well, this is pasta pretty good. I hope we have enough. I have to make more, I have to make more. It's a big occasion because it's time to sit in. I don't want to wait that long for supper. Especially not you and me. Alright. Top coat. And some sauce. And lots of cheese. Get busy with the cheese. First of all, box grater. Put some cheddar in there. Remember to wash your hands all the time. Every time you do the same, just give them a quick wash on them. Give them a rinse, wet and dry, clean. Bit of soap. Beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Okay. Most important cheese of a good lasagna is Asiago. It's expensive, but it's really worth it. Worth it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Get all those berries of flavor in there. You'd be, you'd be surprised how good it is. All right. Now, all it's about to do is into a preheated 350 degree oven. You gotta put your trays of lasagna. See you in a bit. <laughs> 